Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. I am so excited for this video because I am in my new space. It has been a bit since I have sat down to film and that's because we've been moving and settling in and I have my whole collection back, which is super fun. And when I was doing this project of setting everything up, I realized that I had a lot of puzzles that I've had for a while that have been on my to-do list for a really long time. I recently watched a video from Dan from Puzzle Files if you haven't seen him, check him out down below. He's a bit smaller than I am, but he had a really good video where he showed his whole entire to-do list. I'm not doing that today, but if you want to see it, let me know. But today I am going to show you some puzzles that I've had for over a year that have been on my to-do list. And those are the puzzles that I'm going to be showcasing for the next little bit. Dave and I had started a bet that I would not buy any puzzles between now and the start of summer. I already failed, um, but I still want to try to attempt to purchase less or at least stay consistent of doing the puzzles that I've had for a while. So in the next few months or maybe even going forward, I will showcase things that I've hauled for a really long time ago and those are the puzzles that I'll be doing now. So if there's anything that you see in this video that you want me to put at the top of the list, let me know. My goal is to post twice a week now that we are settled in. It may take me a bit to get up to that level, but that is my goal. And the quality and such hopefully will improve over time. But if you're new here, I would love if you subscribed and joined my channel because I have a lot of really fun content coming and this is just a little glimpse of some puzzles to come. Now even though I am going to be showcasing a lot of these puzzles in the near future, I will be having some other puzzles come in. I do have some hauls coming through as well, but I'm excited to look at some puzzles that I've had in the past and put them at the top of my to-do pile. I'm going to take a pause, relocate to my puzzle table, which is over there, and show you all the puzzles that are currently at the top of my to-do list that I've had for over a year. All right, I'm over here at my puzzle table, surrounded by puzzles that I've had for over a year. And this is just like a tiny little sliver of the amount that's on my to-do list. I have over 100 puzzles right now on my to-do list, and this is just a glimpse at the ones that I've had for a really long time. So I have them sorted out currently by the date that I purchased them, because my goal is to do the puzzles that I've had for a really long time first, and hopefully that would prevent me from buying a ton of puzzles in the future, but honestly, with a puzzle channel, I'm just going to say I'm just going to be accumulating puzzles, and that's okay by me. But I thought it'd be fun to try to challenge myself to just do the oldest ones first, and so we have a nice little variety here, and I'm excited to show them to you. So the ones that are oldest on my to-do list, I've had for almost two years, and I'm actually surprised it was it was such a small list that has been almost two years. So I'm happy with that. I mean, some I did end up gifting away before I even did them, or swapped them out of puzzle swap, but it is what it is. The first two I have I got in July of 2021, and this one has been requested quite a few times to do on my channel, and so I'm finally excited to do it. And this is by the brand Cavallini & Co. And I've heard very mixed things about this brand. Some people love them, some people don't like them. I believe they have a paper backing. I'm just trying to remember all the different things people have said in the comments, but it's definitely hit or miss with this brand. I will say the packaging, super cute. This is a thousand pieces called Bees and Honey, and I love the image of it. I am very curious about trying it though because of the mixed reaction that I've seen, but I love the packaging and the marketing, definitely a cute little vibe. Um, and I've seen the picture a few times on the Facebook group that I host, and it looks really pretty. So I'm actually really excited to do this one, try the brand out. I feel like there's a lot of brands here that I've never done before, which is going to be really exciting for the next few videos. Next that I got in that same haul is by Buffalo, and it's a 1500 piece, and it's called Moon Cycle. This one on their website is named a few different things, um, but this one is Moon Cycle in the 1500 piece, and I like it because it's a gradient puzzle. There's this moon that you can see throughout, and then there's like this little guy who's camping. Um, so I think it's fun when they take like a regular image and like do a lot of like graphic art on top of it because it just makes it a little bit more fun. I like this like a little galaxy over here. I love the colors of this one and it's been in my to-do list for a while so I'm excited to bring it out. The next few I got in January of 2022 so over a year old, close to a year and a half old and these are ones that I have been really excited to do and for some reason just never got around to it so I 
think this will be fun. Um, the first one I got, it was a wishlist item for Christmas. Dave got it for me and it's, it's so quirky. It's by the brand Fred, which I've never done before. And it's called Galaxy Cat. I'll let you see a close up on the screen, but it's just like cats and treats in a galaxy. They're just sitting on top of planets and they're comets. And I love how the treats are the Astro Belt. It's just quirky and weird and I like the vibe of it. Um, actually, I lied. I did do a Fred one before. It's called Black Cat and I don't remember the quality. So I'm excited to do a full size one. I want to say I didn't mind too much, but I remember I got it used. So I went, I'm excited to see how it is new and I'll report back. But this one I think will be a super fun one to do. I feel like it's going to be somewhat challenging though. I've never done like a galaxy style one, but there's also a lot of fur because of the amount of cats in it. So we'll see how that one works out. The next one is by the brand Workman Puzzles, which I did do one recently called Where the Crawdads Sing from the same exact brand. So I don't know if I'll do an actual video on this one, but it's called All Good Things Are Wild and Free. The whole thing about this vibe is they are actually a book publishing company. And so all of their puzzles are based on books, which is super cool. Quality wise, it was fine. They had matte pieces, had paper backing. It reminds me of Gallison or a Mud Puppy puzzle. If you had put them side by side, I would say they were the same brand, but it was fun. And this one is definitely a really cool image. Never heard of the book before. It's by Henry David Thoreau. And I love the concept of this one just because it is camping. I apparently had a theme when I got these puzzles, but um, me and Dave are excited to go back out to do some camping now that we live in Washington. And this one is just a vibe. I like the colors. I like the style of it. Nice illustration. And the brand is pretty decent as well. So I'm excited for this one. And that one I can often find that brand like found get one half off at Barnes and Noble. That's where I purchased mine. And then the third one I got during that same time was by Buffalo. And this one is called... And this one is called Rainbow Parasols, and it is just super fun. I love how bright this one is. Definitely going to be a good time. I feel like it's going to be relatively easy because you have very distinct umbrellas or parasols. And I think I love the colors of this one a lot. I think um, if you look closely at the different parasols, they all have like a different pattern on it. Like there's one with some koi fish, there's one with butterflies. So I just do think it will be pretty easy. And I don't know if, again, if I'm doing another video on this one, I might. I might just add it to like a puzzles I'm doing this week type of video, but I think I just like the picture a lot. This next one I got in February of 2022. And it's kind of funny when I was looking at these different haul videos that I had done because some hauls I did every single one of those puzzles and then other hauls I didn't do any or maybe did a couple or gave some away. And this one I did actually do almost all of the puzzles and there's this last one that I haven't done for some reason. And it's one that I've actually been really interested in. I've been really wanting to try the brand. I've heard pretty good things about them. It is Blue Kazoo. And you see a lot of their puzzles which are like the different galaxy ones. Like there's the sun, there's the moon, there's the earth. Those are the ones I see often. This is one of their actual picture puzzles. So this one is called Train. And I don't remember why I got it. I feel like I got it for a, a different video, but it looks really fun. I love the orange train. I feel like it's going to be a pretty, again, easier puzzle. And I've never tried the brand and it's caught part of their Across the Continent series. So. I am very interested in this one and I'll have to do a whole video on this guy or maybe I'll combine it with a few other brands that I haven't done before, but I think this one is going to be a lot of fun and I've heard again pretty good things about them. Moving into this giant stack, I remember loving this video that I did because a lot of the puzzles that I had bought during that time were for my international series and it's a series I do want to kind of get back into. It is my around the world series where I'm doing puzzles from all over not just puzzles about a country but actually from the countries and I'm excited to bring that series back to life and I know about half of my subscribers are international which is, I think is the coolest thing so I am very excited to have these puzzles. I have a whole stack here. I purchased all of these in April of 2022 and so it's been over a year and I definitely need to do these puzzles because there are some good ones here. Uh, the first one is n the first couple are not part of the international series. Um, they're just ones that I had also included in that video and this one I got at a thrift store and it's called Coke Is It by Springbok 
and I have had really good success with some Springbok puzzles so I am excited to do this one it's more of a vintage style puzzle I don't know the year I'll have to research that for that video but it is used so hopefully have all the pieces but I'm excited for that one and then we have this one from Buffalo Games it's part of their night and day collection this one is called Icelandic Mountain it's a very similar style which is like has a picture but also has like other photo editing in there so it has the northern lights it has a hot air balloon or, or two it's just a really fun one and this is another one where you see it named a few different ways on the buffalo game website so that's just something to mention but it's a pretty popular image of theirs and i'm excited to do it. it's only a thousand pieces this first one here is from an actual French brand called Jure Ferrier, and I believe I got it from, I'll have to leave it on the screen so you guys can see where I purchased it, but this one I actually purchased from France, and it was really cool because it came with a French newspaper, um, which was all in French, and I did take French in high school, so I can read a little bit, um, but I'm definitely rusty. Uh, so my pronunciation is also a hot mess at this point, but I love this one. It's super fun. It's a thousand pieces. Look at the box. It just like, I remember the whole experience just being very well thought out. It, like it was wrapped in paper, it had a sticker. I don't have all that anymore. I do have the little sleeve that came on top of it. It is just a puzzle about green beans. <laughs> you know, work on my pronunciation. But I think the puzzle is super cool looking. Um, I love the colors. I love the feel of the box. I feel like it's going to be a really fun experience. And I still have the newspaper the I can research about as well. So anyways, that is exciting for that one. This next one is from Japan. And I have to go back to that original video because a lot of you gave me some really good insight about this brand. Um, the brand is Moomin and it is a plastic puzzle brand. So I feel like it's going to be similar to Pintu just because I'm used to those plastic pieces. This one is uh, 1,126 pieces, so very precise. Um, it's mostly in Japanese on the puzzle box. It does say it's called Moonlight Party. My concern with this one is there's a lot of blue happening, which makes me pretty nervous. I think there's enough textures there that I can get it done, but similar vibe to Pinchy ones where this one is supposed to be hangable. And so I'm excited to try it out, see what the difference is. Um, maybe it's a little bit thicker of pieces, at least so I can tell by the box, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm misinformed. I don't know. I think it'll be super fun. And I think it comes with the frame. So we'll have to check it out in a future video. And then I have this one from Australia, which I have some Tiny Wicks puzzles. So I have done an Australian brand before, and I do actually have a New Zealand puzzle as well now. But this one is from Australia, and I remember purchasing it from Australia. It took me forever to get here. Uh, I want to get, say it took over a month in the mail, um, but it's from One But Many. This one is called Port Fairy, and I really like this illustration a lot. Love the bright colors, love that it's just like drawn, you know? And I've heard good things about this brand and I think it's going to be fun. I no longer have the, it came with a card. Um, and I remember her being super excited that I, it was coming all the way to California at the time. So um, I don't have the card anymore, but I do think it's really cool that it's Australian owned and I did purchase it there. And it's the brand that I'm excited to try. I remember liking a lot of their images. I don't think I'd purchase from them a lot just because of how long it took and all the shipping costs. I think the shipping costs almost as much as the puzzle. Um, but it's it's fun to have one, you know. So next two puzzles here aren't quite at the one year mark. I purchased it on May 14th. These two puzzles, I feel like I haven't had that long, but I can't believe it's been almost a year since I purchased them. This first one is from a brand I've never done before. Look how bright that one is. It's from the brand Lawrence King, and this one is called The World of Tudors. But this one is super bright, very colorful. Yeah, the full image is on the back. The box just feels so nice and sturdy. And this one just, there's like so much happening on the puzzle. It was manufactured in the Netherlands and I just think it's really fun and pretty. Um, it definitely is part of like their book series. They have one for The Wizard of Oz and a few other versions, but I'm excited to try this one out. I haven't really heard too much about them. And then this one here, I I love the image so much. And I have done one N Woods Games before, but it was a different variation of theirs. It was part of their honeycomb line. This one is their traditional puzzle line, and this one is called Dragon Valley. 
I love this image so much. It's so fun. I love the texture of dragon scales over the whole entire picture. This one was done on my puzzle page as well or the Facebook group. And I remember just loving it and instantly adding it to my cart. I love the little mushrooms in it. I love the sunset. It's just really fun, bright colors. And I think this is going to be a cool one to do. So those are the puzzles that I've had for a year and I'm putting at the top of my to-do list. Again, if you wanna see my whole to-do list, let me know, but it would be a very long lengthy video because there's over a hundred of them now. But I feel like I'm just needing to chisel away at it a little bit and I'm still excited to do these puzzles a year later. Like there's some really good brands, there's some really good images and I just need to get in the habit of doing the puzzles that I purchased. Although I will say I have been doing a lot of the puzzles, I just haven't been doing them as fast as they've been coming in. Um, so hopefully I can change that and get a little bit of a grasp on all of these puzzles. But thank you so much for tuning into this video and thank you for sticking with me as I've gone through this whole craziness of my channel and moving. But I'm excited to get things started again. I'm really excited to do these puzzles and I'm excited for some future videos that are coming. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.